Moon or Munism also called Bongthingism is the traditional polytheistic, animist, shamanistic, and syncretic religion of the Lepcha people. It predates the 7th century Lepcha conversion to Lamaistic Buddhism, and since that time, the Lepcha have practiced it together with Buddhism. Since the arrival of Christian missionaries in the 19th century, Moon traditions have been followed alongside that religion as well. The traditional religion permits incorporation of Buddha and Jesus Christ as deities, depending on household beliefs. The exonym, Moon, derives from the traditional belief in spirits called Moon or Mung. Together with Bongthing, also Bongthing or Bongthing, Moon comprise a central element in the religion. These terms are also used to describe the shaman priesthood that officiates the respective spirits. The Moon religion and its priesthood are in decline. Conversion to other religions is attributed to economic pressure, as traditional practices are immensely expensive to the ordinary practitioner. It has, however, regained interest among Lepcha as ecological encroachment becomes a growing concern. The environment is so deeply intertwined with moon beliefs that religious leaders have offered direct opposition to development in areas including the Rathong Chu and Tista rivers. Mythology. <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. The traditional Lepcha belief system is rich in oral myths, legends, fables, and fairy tales collectively called Lungten Sung. According to Moon mythology, the ancestors of the Lepcha were created by Itbu Rum, who molded them from the pure snows of Mount Kanchenjunga. They thus share a lineage with the natural environment and share the cosmos with non human spirits. The spirit of the legendary the Kong Thek delivers reproaches to the Lepcha chief through Moon or Bongning shamans. Belief system The belief system of Moon is animist, and the natural environment provides much of its basis. Naturally occurring spirits are an object of ceremonial dedication, and they reside in objects such as trees, rocks, and rivers. It is also a syncretic religion that has coexisted with Mahayana Buddhism since its arrival in the 7th century, with practitioners following both religions at the same time. Traditional beliefs may have influenced Lepcha Buddhist scriptures. Modern religious life in a Lepcha village is centered on the Gumpa, or Buddhist monastery. Many Lepcha were converted to Christianity by Scottish missionaries in the 19th century, however, Buddhism and the traditional religion have retained important roles in Lepcha religious life. Many Christian Lepcha who have lost their Lepcha language have also distanced themselves from these traditional aspects of Lepcha religion. Moon religion includes a belief in heaven, called Rumayang. Topic. Deities Topic. The Moon religion is polytheistic and syncretic, it acknowledges several deities, including those of other religions, namely Buddhism and Christianity. The chief goddess of the Lepcha religion is Naziangnu. The mother creator is a female earth deity, Itbunu. Also Itbu Mu. Two other female deities are the chief of the moon spirits. Traditional Lepcha beliefs include deities governing family, clan, or lineage, putsho, village, region, and wider levels. Clan deities may be named after mountain peaks or rivers, while regions are home to deities associated with Kanchenjunga, such as Chu Rum Fat. The traditional religion also incorporates Buddha and Jesus Christ as a deities, depending on household beliefs. Moon spirits Topic. Moon spirits are of two general types, the benevolent, or white magician, Tong Li Moon, and the malevolent, or black magician, Mung Sek Moon or Mung. The latter reside in trees, bushes, rocks, and rivers. The spirits are further subdivided into seven classes, Avor Moon, Pilden Moon, Angan Moon, Tung Li Moon, Munja Moon, Moon Muk Moon and Liang Eet Moon. Moon spirits, and witchcraft, are believed to be the invariable culprit of illness. Rituals Ceremonies are usually performed for one or several households, and consist of two parts. The rum portion is an offering to devils. The second, sandong, is for offerings to the deity Kanchenjunga, to chew rum fat, and to the plains. Ceremonies generally seek to appease these spirits. Bongthing rituals generally include prayers, herbs, and amulets, and may also include directed breathing or spitting by the priest. 
Ritual prayers are sometimes in the form of glossolalia. Spirit possession occurs in a variety of manners, from a subtle headache to violent, uncontrollable madness. Generally, symptoms are the manifestation of Hmong spirits feeding off the flesh, blood, internal organs, or life energy of the host. Ritual paraphernalia include the ganta bell, damaru dru necklaces, and consecrated cup filled with kai. The religion practices animal sacrifice, especially of goats and pigs. Moon priests are traditionally present at lepsha celebrations for birth, marriage, and death. Among the lepsha, moon officiants are the only obligatory aspect of a commoner's funeral. The funerary ceremony, called Dick Flea, is accompanied by the sacrifice of a goat and a hen three days after death. It is also performed at the home of people who die elsewhere, for fear of the spirit's return. Auspicious locations and days, particularly in rural settings, may be required of rituals to address more severe ailments or threatening afflictions. Festivals are also a central aspect of the religion. Priesthood Topic. The priesthood consists of two types of shaman, corresponding to the spirits they manifest. Moon undergoes spirit possession, manifesting supernatural entities bodily, can be male or female. While bongthing are only male, where they have to learn and practice rituals. It is said that bongthing came before moon, so as to show respect, the moon needs to learn both the bongthing way and the moon way. Moon undergoes spirit possession, manifesting supernatural entities bodily. Their main functions are to ward off misfortunes and illness, perform exorcisms, and guide souls to the afterlife. Some also adjudicate theft cases. Although the priesthood exists, the religion considers true knowledge to be a divine revelation through meditation or dreams, as opposed to a learned talent. Both the moon and bongthing priesthoods are hereditary, although they do not pass strictly patrilineally. Trained disciples of existing masters are often recruited to service at times of crisis as an election by ancestors or shamanic gods. It is possible for a bongthing to advance to moon status, padam or a male hereditary junior priesthood. A padam is usually an initiate on the path to becoming a moon shaman, and has the right to offer sacrifice. The traditional priesthood also plays a role in the indigenous medical system, as they learn therapeutic knowledge and healing rituals. Topic. See also Topic. Lepsha people Animism Syncretism Buddhism in India Indigenous peoples of Sikkim Topic. References Topic.